This is section 7.4, Systems of Applications of Linear Systems. Um, as we look at these problems, one of the first most important parts to do is to first define your variables um, with variable letter choices that make sense to the problem. Um, then we're going to write a system, then we'll solve it using either substitution or elimination, whichever is the best method, and then we'll check our answer to make sure it's right. So, and then finally we need to answer the question using words. We have two examples on this page. Problem one, we have Tim buying 10 pens and four erasers for 750. Mandy buys 20 pens and 10 erasers for 1550. So the question is how much does a pen cost and how much does an eraser cost? So that's my variables. P is going to be the cost of a pen. E is going to be the cost of an eraser. We now write two equations regarding our situation. Our first equation is about Tim. Tim bought 10 pens, 4 erasers, and that cost $7.50. Mandy bought 20 pens and 10 erasers, and that cost $15.50. We now have a system of equations that we're going to try to solve. As I consider this, I think I'd like to use elimination to drop out the P's. I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2, and that's going to give me negative 20 versus a positive 20. So I have negative 20P. Don't forget to multiply the other two also by negative 2. Minus 80 equals negative 15. This bottom equation stays exactly the same. Now when I look at it vertically, I can drop things out and I can drop out the P's by adding them up vertically. So I have 2E equals 50 cents. To solve for E, I simply divide by 2 and E equals 25 cents. That means an eraser costs 25 cents. Now, I have half the problem done. I need to go back in and I need to find the cost of a pen. So I'm going to use the top equation, 10P plus 4E equals 750. I'm going to replace the value of E with 25 cents, multiplying 4 times 25 cents is $1. I subtract $1 from both sides, and that gives me 650. To solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So that looks like a pen costs 65 cents. To check this, we need to plug it back into the second equation and make sure it works. 20 times 65 cents plus 10 times 25 cents should be hopefully equal to $15.50. Well, 20 times 65 cents is $13, and 10 times 25 cents is $2.50. And so this does work, and it does check, and so we should answer the problem with words, and we should say an eraser costs 25 cents, and a pen costs 65 cents. We now look at example two on the other top of this page. We have coins, which is very, very similar to the problems we just did. We have two variables, quarters and nickels. So I'm going to say Q equals the number of quarters. It doesn't equal the value of a quarter, because we already know that. N equals the number of nickels that we have. So my first equation has to do with the quantity. Q plus N equals 25, because we have 25 coins. My second equation has to do with value. The value of my quarters is 25 cents each, so 25 cents times Q plus 5 cents times N equals the value of all my money in my pocket. Now, I'd like to try to drop out my decimal, so I'm going to take the second equation and multiply it by 100. That gives me 25Q, 5N, and 525. No more decimals in the bottom equation, so as I consider the top equation, I want to drop out my n's. So comparing 1n versus 5n, I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 5. Remember to multiply all three of them by negative 5. That gives me negative 5q, negative 5n equals negative 125. I'm going to now subtract or add these up vertically. That's 20q. The ends are gone, 
and 400. I divide both sides by 20 and Q equals 20. So now I have to think to myself, what did Q represent? That's the number of quarters, and so you have to say there are 20 quarters. We have half our problem done. We're going to solve it by using the first equation, Q plus N equals 25. I put in the value 20, and obviously when I subtract 20 from both sides, I have 5 nickels. Now that I've got both answers, I want to check it in the second equation. So I'm going to plug it into the second equation. 25 cents times 20 plus 5 cents times 5 equals $5.25. Well, 20 quarters is $4. Excuse me, 20 quarters is $5. And 5 nickels is 25 cents. So that equals 525, and the problem checks. And once again, you'd want to make sure that you wrote your answer as a phrase or a sentence, and so you'd say 20 quarters and 5 nickels.